Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel Programming Knowledge. In today's Adobe Illustrator tutorials video, we are going to see that how can we create or convert any image that is available to us into a vector in Adobe Illustrator. So once our image is being converted into a vector, then we can easily use it for any purpose that we want very easily in Adobe Illustrator. And that's exactly that what we are going to see today. So in today's tutorial, we are going to look at two different kinds of images. One is a natural image, which is basically a picture or a photograph. Uh, this is the kind of the scenery that we have got. And first of all, we are converting it into the vector. And then using the same procedure, we have got this kind of an image, which we are going to convert into a vector. Now, instead of a natural scenery that I have used over here, what you can do is just take a snap or a picture of yourself and then you can also convert it into a vector very easily. And the steps that you need to follow are going to be exact same for all of the images that you are going to use with a slight difference between the natural images and the vectors. So that is the reason I have chosen uh, the natural images as well and the vectors as well. So without taking much of your time, let us jump into our tutorial and see that what steps we need to follow. So first of all, what you need to do is get an image for yourself. And as this image is concerned, I have downloaded it from the internet. So if you want the same image, I will share its download link in the description. But if you want, you can just choose any image for yourself. It can be any picture of a scenery or your picture as well. It really doesn't matter. Then what we are going to do is just um, once you have got your picture, then you can just open any picture in Adobe Illustrator very easily. What you can do is just go to file and here you will find an option of open. Then once you have opened your image in Adobe Illustrator, then what we are going to do is just uh, drag it to the sideways like this. Then just uh, go to window. Here you will find an option of image trace. So just select on this option. And uh, now you can just uh, dock this tab just beside your image. And here we are going to make a few changes. But before making any changes, make sure that the preview is turned on. And as soon as you do that, you will see that your image is converted into something like this. This is nothing but a black and white version of your image. So to get rid of it, what we are going to do is first of all, change the preset from default to a high fidelity photo. And then it may take some time like this, uh, a progress menu would be shown. And after some time, you will see that uh, this is the result that you have got. And this is nothing but the result of the tracing that you have got. And if you want, you can just change your view from tracing result to tracing result with outlines. And as soon as you do that, you can see all these kind of outlines. So these outlines are actually the vectors that the Adobe Illustrator image trace option has created out of the image that you provided it to. And then you can just change the colors to a full 100. Then again, it may take some time, but uh, this time totally depends upon. And once it's done, uh, you can also change your uh, mode from color to a grayscale. It will help you generate a black and white version of your photo. Now, if you just uh, click on the tracing result, then you can see that this is the black and white version of the photo that you have got. And this is some of the information that is being shown over here, which is the number of the paths that uh, the image trace option has created its anchors and how much colors it has used. Now, if you want, you can also increase the amount of grays to 100 over here. And this will help you in generating a more detailed grayscale version of your photo. And once you have got a final result for yourself, 
then you can see that uh, the number of the colors has increased to 244 and this is what we have got so this is how you can just uh, trace your image using the image trace option and change it to a vector in adobe illustrator now this was a natural image what if we get something like this in front of us now in this image you can see that these different shapes are available to us and when we trace this image our goal is that we would be able to edit these shapes individually so for that we are going to uh, just apply the same image trace to it but we are going to make some changes so what we are going to do is just first change its view to tracing result with outlines and when you do that you can see these kind of the outlines created but i don't want them because i just want these vectors or these shapes to be outlined so for that what i'm going to do is change its type from a high fidelity photo to three colors And when you do that, you can see that only the shapes have been outlined like this. Also, the number of the colors used are three, but uh, I just want two colors, which is one, basically the red background and the second, which is the black or the brown color with which the shapes have been highlighted. So I'm just going to change the number of colors to two. And now you can see that a more detailed outlining is being shown over here and you can only see all these things if your preview is turned on so make sure to turn the preview on and if you want you can also go to these advanced options and these advanced options will help you to increase the number of paths or decrease it that is adjust the paths fitting suppose i do it to a hundred percent then what will happen it will organize or select the precise amount of paths like here you can see if we just zoom in a little bit then here you can see that these paths are not straight but these are somewhat uh, shaky in appearance this is because we have chosen a path fitting of a hundred percent which is the highest value but if we choose it to be of a ten percent then you can see that uh, this kind of uh, distorted paths have been selected so an ideal value for this would be a 50 percent where uh, not too much distorted or not too much defined parts would be selected but it would be selected um, as which suits our needs the most apart from that you can also increase the noise or reduce the noise to make sure that whatever end result that you get is the perfect that matches your requirement so as this is concerned i'm going to change the noise to a one pixel and the corners i'm also going to reduce to a 20 percent and when you do that you will see that a more defined result is selected for yourself then you can just close this image trace tab press ctrl 0 to come back to the default zoom percentage now once you have traced your image you can just drag it to the between and then go to object and click on expand and then click on ok then uh, you can see that uh, this is the kind of the result that you have got now you can just right click and go to ungroup so all of your uh, things would be ungrouped like this then what i'm going to do is just delete this black background and these are the uh, kinds of the vectors or the shapes that you have got now you can just select all of them and increase its size like this or if you want you can also change its color to anything that you want it's totally up to you now all the manipulations that you want you can just do it to the images like I can color it to pure black and the rest of the parts as well I'm just going to color to pure black like this and if you want you can manipulate it to anything that you like so that is all in today's Adobe Illustrator tutorials in which you learn that how can you create or convert any image into a vector format 
I hope you all have enjoyed this. For more such tutorials, keep watching the YouTube channel Programming Knowledge. Till then, goodbye.